Good morning. Uh, we are about to leave the hotel and head to the bow fiddle. Yeah. Well excited. Seen loads of pictures of bow fiddle and this morning is meant to be an epic sunrise. So where else would you go? Fingers crossed. Good morning! Oh my god, the bow fiddle right now looks incredible. I didn't realise how big the bow fiddle is. Images do not do it justice at all. And I've got these huge pounding waves coming in, which just look absolutely incredible. There's going to be so much movement. The sky is clear. Honestly, Wow, that was so big. What a day to be alive. This is going to be some hell of a photo shoot. I know for a fact the GoPro is not going to be able to pick this up at all, but check this out. Isn't that absolutely spectacular? Right, I need to get set up. My God, these waves are huge. Absolutely amazing. So I've got a very, very simple composition. I've decided to put the bow fiddle in the center, dead center, and I've got this really cool line of rocks that are heading out towards the bow fiddle. And it's just so amazing, but I really want more light on the situation so I can capture the power in the water, the movement in the water. I've decided to go for no filters um, for the first shots anyway, just because it's so dark and it's already quite neutral. Um, the sky is a little bit blown out, so I am thinking about dropping in a uh, the, my five stop grad filter. But, wow. Like, absolutely mind-blowingly beautiful. Oh, honestly, words cannot tell you. So I think the best way to show you is by doing a little bit of a time-lapse. And then you can watch it change as I do. So I do apologise folks, uh, lots of photographers turned up and I feel a bit nervous talking on camera in front of them and turn into a bit of a wet wuss but wow, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse, it did go on for a while and a lot has happened, lots of pictures were taken um, yeah, absolutely stunning so how I'm going to talk about what I did during these images is I'm going to show each one on screen and then I'm gonna do a voiceover so I'll explain what I did to capture them and why I decided to choose them compositions so for this composition I use this bottom rock and the bottom right hand corner is a little bit of a focal a foreground interest and use the water to guide your eye in I've got this lovely rock off the left hand side which guides your eye straight into the bow fiddle which is starting to look a little bit like an elephant sitting down but wow such a beautiful image for the second image I really liked this line of rocks that acted as a diagonal line straight across into the bow fiddle and the light is just starting to capture the side of the bow and look at them clouds 
like wow it was such a beautiful morning where I am going now is up onto the cliff edge because the side of the bow fiddle is lit up and looking incredible but from down in the bay you can't see a whole chunk of it so my thoughts would be should get more sun-baked golden bow fiddle and that is not a bad thing so quick maneuvers and fingers crossed it'll totally pay off I got faith I have the most amazing light right now check this out I'm gonna talk while I'm doing this but have a look at that so for the composition up here I'm thinking I've got this line of rocks here that I'm pummeled by these waves that's guiding your eye out there. and the thing that I don't like is gonna stand out straight away as soon as I say it this big rock here if I could get rid of that rock and just have swooshing water whooshing water that would be perfect but I'll show you the back of the camera so I've got my grad filter on the front, polarizer on. So this is how the back of my camera is looking. I've got the bow fiddle off to the top left hand, top right hand corner. I've got this line of rocks coming out, and all I'm doing is I'm waiting for that nice big bit of swell to come through. There we are, and then I'm firing that off. And look at the way the light's getting caught on that rock onto the bow fiddle. It's just beautiful absolutely beautiful what a morning what a morning but i'm thinking compared to down on the little cove bit this is gone doesn't have anything on that so i'm gonna head back up and round i might get the classic shot from the cliff end get an image of that and then head back down onto the beach hopefully the other photographers will clear out by then because it's really hard to talk to you guys while there around it really is i find it super intimidating um, so bear with me So I just found an epic composition using these rocks over here and as the water comes up I found little cracks that just guides your eye through off onto this main structure that takes you off into the, uh, the bow fiddle. This morning I have honestly got at least three or four images that I really really like. There is one thing that I'm sticking around for though. There's one thing that I really want now and that is the water to come high enough so it comes around this chunk of rock here and out to the bow fiddle. Once I've got that I'm a happy man and I can go home but I don't think it's far away. I don't think it's far away at all now. has been a exceptional morning down here at the Bow Fiddle. If you're ever on the, the east coast of Scotland, check this location out. It is absolutely mind-blowingly beautiful. Um, I definitely suggest 
if you can time it for when the tide is coming back in because that'll give you much more options on what to do or what to shoot and everything that's going on um, that is how it has been this morning the tide has been coming in the light has been absolutely magnificent and I have had so many nice images I'm sorry for the lack of to and fro between me and the camera um, but there's been so many photographers around and that is scary I've had to wait until I'm the last one here before I can finish my vlog it is now 7.35 been here for about two hours now and it has not let me down this location has not let me down repeat not let me down it has been beautiful anyway that is all from me today uh, I hope you've enjoyed my vlog and uh, yeah see you on the next one